a lot of the opportunities for women in Philadelphia are things that we can connect with their domestic roles. Uh, women ran boarding houses. They kept a lot of taverns, so providing lodging and food and drink. Uh, those were perhaps the, uh, that was perhaps the biggest way in which widows from the early colonial period well into the 19th century uh, made do to support their families. Uh, beyond taking in lodgers, um, running taverns, uh, there were a certain number of women school teachers, especially of very young children. Uh, and then there were women in a number of trades. A lot of what we might think of as women's trades, mantua makers, milliners, people who made dresses and hats and sold uh, accessories of various kinds to women. But then you have a fair sprinkling of women in all sorts of other trades. Because I think something that's easy to overlook are the number of women uh, in businesses that you don't see in the records because technically their husbands were the owners of the business. And they only appear as the owners after their husband dies. But they've actually been behind the counter the whole time. Uh, and so, uh, but s this results in the fact that um, sometimes you find women printers, even you know, women gunsmiths, things like that, trades that women had been engaged in as partners to their husband, uh, who might, in fact, even while their husband was still living, uh, been running the shop for a long time if he was away or something. But they only appear as proprietor uh, they only advertise in the newspaper in their own name after he dies. So there, there are quite a lot of women shopkeepers in Philadelphia, clustered in certain trades, but, but also sprinkled throughout. 